Hey guys, what's up? It's AppleCritics from AppleCritics.com, bringing you a new video, and this one is going to be on how to get the always-on display on your iDevice. So it could be an iPhone, an iPod Touch, or anything like that. As long as it's iOS 14 and above, and it has an OLED screen, you can do this video. So it's important that you have an OLED screen because uh, it is more energy efficient based on the screen, and it won't cause any long-term damage to your iPhone screen. So I highly recommend that you have an OLED iPhone uh, to do this video uh, because it won't have any uh, screen burning or anything like that. Uh, so by using this video, you can use your phone as an always-on display or a nightstand, and it's a really simple process overall. And as long as you follow all the steps, you'll be able to get your always on display on your iPhone. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this video started. So the first thing that you're going to do is click on the very first link down in the description down below. It will take you to the app store for the particular app. And then once you click on that link, it will take you to this page. So you're going to see this is the app right here. Uh, so what you're going to do is just simply go ahead and uh, install it. And then once you've installed it, what you're going to do is simply go into the shortcuts app. So now once you're in the Shortcuts app, what you're going to do is go into the Automation tab right at the bottom. And then once you're in the Automation tab, what you're going to do is go ahead and press on Create Personal Automation. And then once you press on Create Personal Automation, what you're going to do is scroll all the way down until you see Charger. Uh, so you're just going to tap on Charger. And then once you tap on Charger, you're going to make sure it says Is Connected, Is Checked, so it is checked. Then we can go ahead and press on Next. And then once you're at this page right here, we're going to just tap on the Search. And then we're going to tap on where it says scripting. And then we're going to press on open app. And then the app that we're going to choose is the clock plus app. So then once you choose open clock plus app, we can hit next. And then what we're going to do once you hit next is turn off ask before running. So we're going to press don't ask. And then once you've done that, we can go ahead, press the done button. And now we can go ahead and give this app a test run. Uh, so what we can do is just go ahead and plug in our iPhone. And now once you plug in the iPhone right here, you can see that we have the always on display immediately. And now you can just turn it around. And you can see that this app works and it's a very simple process overall. So thanks for watching this video on how to get an always on display on your iPhone. Please be sure to subscribe to the next video. Please smash the like button down below so know you watched. Also be sure to leave a comment down below of what you think of this app. Make sure to check out all the other videos on my channel. And follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. My username there is AppleCritics. And thanks for watching.